Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rick Neal here from ProSlidePacks.com. Uh, there was a question about how to modify slide, uh, the infographic slide in uh, month one. And what you're looking at is one of them in there. And I went through and kind of played around and see what's going on. And this is the slide running. So um, it comes up. <clears throat> with the graphics and everything else and then uh, it fades back out so the question was how to um, change some of the graphics around and how to extend it so the first thing we're going to do is look at how we can change some of the graphics around so let me bring it up to where I can see those graphics I'm going to pause it right here I mean, okay I'm going to pause it right there and the way you make the changes is you come up here to the slide tab, click on custom animation and go to the outline panel. And here in the outline panel is where you can turn stuff on and off or if you wanted to you could change the color of those circles. And uh, But the question was how to... And then the two image slots that you have in here, they control this space here so you can put a different image in here if you like so what you can do is come here to image one I'm gonna go to the gallery and just pick this guy and then go to image two go to the gallery and pick this girl and uh, that shows you right there those go in there and so she looks pretty centered he looks a little bit off so let's see we can move him over some alright so that's not too bad so then you want to get rid of these graphics behind there right so you go back to the outline tab and I figured out that six and seven do the trick now if you think these two are a little bit too big then you can come to scale and reduce them down just a little bit and then you can um, move it down down okay if you would if you needed to so uh, I noticed that the head is being cut off a little bit maybe that's because there's a mask there that I can't see or or make any changes to but anyway this is how you would come in here and change the colors move those graphics around and everything else uh, I don't see where you could change these graphics to anything else you can turn them on and off and so that's a 9 that's 10 that's 11 uh, so these are just outline images you can turn them off if you like but let me move on to the other question and that is making it extend now it looks to me that it says it's 148 frames so it looks to me that if I went to frame 100 and maybe 30 and then paused it for whatever length of time you want to pause it to I think that might give you what you're looking for so there it is right there and it's pausing see it's staying up longer than it did before so I'm stopping at 131 for 117 frames. <clears throat> I know 120 frames is 20 seconds. 200 <coughs> is 5 seconds. And 240 is 10 seconds. So at frame 130 could even be, you know, so just, just using round numbers. It will stop for 5 additional seconds. So now it says that the slide is 11 seconds long up here. Let me, if, if I go to 240, they'll give me... 10 additional seconds and see now it says 16.2 seconds up here and you can see it gets to this point and it stays up a little longer you know a lot longer giving these graphics a chance to do some kind of animation if you put something in there and then now it goes away so that's how you would extend the slide under the SWF tab I'm using the first one I'm pausing at 130 for 240 frames which is 10 seconds and uh, that makes it happen all right so let me get back into the slide custom animation here is the outline tab this is where you would go in and make the color changes or turn stuff off and I know that the the last one's down here okay right, there it is 12 11 10 and 9 control those so I hope that helped thank you very much